Hi, I'm David with Southern Stain and Seal. And we're here today on a stamped concrete sidewalk. And we're going to talk to you today about the process of resealing stamped concrete when it's time for maintenance. Now we came in yesterday, we cleaned the sidewalk with the surface washer, rinsed with the pressure washer. Everything is good and clean, everything is dry and ready to go. Uh, so now we're going to talk about the process of actually applying the sealer. Um, the concrete we're looking at today is about seven years old according to the homeowner and has never been sealed since construction. So there's very little sealer left on the concrete. Everything is clean. There was no need to do any stripping, no coatings failing or anything like that. So we're in good shape on that. So all we need to do now is apply a new coat of sealer and get this thing ready. So let's show you how that's done. All right, the product that we're going to be using today is the Supreme 25 from Clemens. Uh, now we chose this product based on the fact that the old sealer that was on here wasn't acrylic. Uh, there's very little of it left, but we want to make sure that we stay compatible with what was here originally. There's a lot of products that you can use on stamped concrete. Just You have to look at the compatibility factors and make sure that you're using something that is compatible with the old sealer. Uh, Clemens 25 Supreme is a pure acrylic, very compatible with a lot of other types of acrylic. So that's what we're gonna be using today. Uh, the first step we're gonna take is we're going to put some of the sealer out into the tray. We'll be using the tray later on as well for the roller to apply the main coat of the sealer. The first thing we're gonna do is cut in with a brush all the areas in the corners, um, anything that's gonna touch the mulch, places that you can't get the roller. So let's get started on that. All right, we're gonna start our cut in. Just wet your brush. And we're gonna simply just start cutting in with our sealer. We're gonna continue this process all the way around, all the brick, and any of the areas we can't get to with our roller. We wanna make sure we don't puddle the sealer too. With stamped concrete, you do have the concern. You have all of the grooves and the texture. You don't wanna puddle the sealer in there because it'll get too thick and can crack and flake on you if, uh, if it gets too thick in those cracks. So we're gonna continue this cut in, get this done, then we're gonna show you how to roll out the last coat. All right, well, we've got everything cut in with the brush now, all around the steps, all around the mulch places that we can't get the roller into. So now what we're going to do, we're just going to roll on a nice, good, heavy, wet coat onto this and see how it soaks in. Uh, we've got some sealer already out in our pan. We just wet our roller into the sealer. We want to make sure the roller is good and wet so you don't leave marks in it. Make sure you use a long enough nap roller cover that it actually will get down into the cracks and the crevices, especially on stamped concrete. Um, that roller covers will come in quarter inch all the way up to inch and a quarter, just really depending on the thickness of uh, what you're working with. We're going to continue this process. We're going to work all the way down through here, and uh, this is pretty much going to be the end of it. So, pretty easy process. All right, well that's it. We've got the sealer on the concrete. Everything's soaking in and drying. Uh, what a difference. It really makes a difference to get that sealer on there. It really brings the color out. Um, hope this helped you. Hope you learned a little bit about sealing concrete, especially stamped. So get out there and take care of your project and uh, thanks for watching.